Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another set of course of video. Uh, there was a car, new car released. Uh, it's a Street Heroes mod. Uh, shout out to the people who made it. Uh, I'll link the car in the description below as well, so you can go check it out, test it yourselves. Uh, but this car is absolutely beautiful. I love the way it looks. Uh, there was quite literally about probably about 20 paint jobs, and I went through them all. And probably this is my favourite. Um, it goes well with the rims and it looks clean as fuck and I like it. Um, this car, very low power, um, I think it's like 200 horsepower around that, I didn't really look, but I think it's low power. Uh, so this could be it could be a struggle to for me to do this because I don't have a clutch. Um, if I had a clutch it would be 100 times easier, um, but yeah, it's, you know, we're going to show off this car. Look how beautiful that thing looks, oh my god, so yeah. Let's try and drift this. Here's the inside as well, just in case you want to see the inside. Uh, it looks, it looks nice. It looks nice. Nice inside. Nice detail got into this car, which I like. I like people who take detail in their cars. <laughs> Look at this car, man. This car is a beautiful car. I just need to get it set up for me, and this car will be amazing. Uh, let's use the, this view because I'm used to this view. So let's do this. It might help me a tiny bit. Yeah, this car is sideways. I think I put like negative six um, camber on the rear, just so I get the t the rear tires sliding a little bit more. I also turned the tires down. I think I've got, I've got street tires on the front, and I think it's old tires on the rear. I think it was, and um, so I'm running worse tires as well. Uh, so it should slide a lot easier. And as, as you can probably hear, it is. Oh, I wish I had a clutch, man. Yes, buddy. Love drifting low horsepower cars. I always used to love doing it on Forza Horizon as well. Um, we always used to love running low horsepower cars. We got to, you got to put effort in to actually get these things sideways, which fun bit about it. Oh shit. I think obviously because I've cambered it up a lot as well it's it's a lot more sliding than it should be. It would probably upset the balance a bit. Uh, but for me without a clutch I've got to do this so. Uh, no turbo it's NA. NA car so very very interesting make this is and shout out to the people who made it because it's an interesting car. Oh, I didn't judge it properly. Okay, made a slight change again. Uh, just to get this car to work for me. And when I got this car working for me, I can show you how good this car actually is. Because uh, if you have a clutch, you'd be able to run it straight out of the box with a stock tube. Here we go. I changed my tyres from the street and old tyres just to pure old tyres now. And it seems to be running... Pretty nice without a clutch, so perfect. This car's feeling nice now. This car's feeling lovely. With old tyres on the front and rear. Without a clutch, this is spot on. Shout out to the people that made this. This is going to be a new favourite car, I think. Oh my god. That was close to the wall there. Yes, uh, lost the revs then. No, oh, that was such a good run until then. <laughs> this car's fun. This is actually a really fun car. I recommend you guys get this car because, as you probably tell, you have to put in effort, but it is a nice car to drift. This car feels really nice.
Come on. This is running really nice. Oh, that gear chain's fucked me up then. Oh, that is a nice corner, that one. I really like this track as well. This track is probably nearly one of my favourite tracks out of four. It's such a smooth, flowy track that it's just... Especially cars with low horsepower, they could just fly around this track. I'm going to have to find me a server online that everyone's running these cars, because this is amazing. As long as it ain't on no fucked up track. Keep the revs, yes, there we go. Thank you 240. Thank you very much. Wow, this car's fun. This is generally a fun car. I've got this car set up for me now without a clutch, so if you don't have a clutch, this car can work for you. That was a nice lap, that was. Oh, this car, man. It just holds that angle because it hasn't got unbelievable power. It's like you can hold it at an angle and it hasn't got the power to, like, surprise you, if you know what I mean. Like, if you're holding it sideways and you accidentally lip too much throttle into it or something, it don't surprise you and it's perfect. It is actually perfect. I think the lock is standard as well, because uh, there's not a lot of angle coming out of this, which is another nice bit that I like out of this car. It's, it's just like a, it's just like you're drifting a standard car. Like you buy a 240 as standard and you're drifting it. Sounds so good. It sounds nice as well. Probably one of my favourite mods so far, I'd have thought. Apart from the Titan mod, of course. But yeah, very, very nice car. I don't even want to stop. <laughs> I just want to keep going. This car's amazing. Oh, I need to shift. Oh, I've lost my revs. Oh, I shifted up. Oh my god. Turd. Alright, let's get around to the, the beginning of the straight and let's do one more lap. One more lap with this beast. No, don't spin out. Oh, you turd. Alright, let's just take it round here anyway. This car's fun. That is just the definition of this car, it's fun. And it looks beautiful at the same time. How can you go wrong? I said one more, but I can't stop. That's close to the wall. Very wide. Very, very wide. Okay, we're going to have to stop. <laughs> this car is amazing. Um, the link would be in the description below. Uh, go check it out. It's a beautiful car. Look at this. Look, you can see how much camber I'm running on the rear. Um, i got to do this because i got no clutch. I can't clutch kick, which is annoying. Um, but there we go. Lovely car. Check it out, I recommend you do it.